Okay, hello everyone. Thank you for joining this session. And um, uh, I'm I'm pretty excited to share my experiences uh, with you with respect to publishing a book. I, I left India in about 1996 and um, worked in several countries like the United States for about six years. I've been in the UK for about for the past 16 years. I worked in Singapore, Malaysia, Italy, France, um, Switzerland, etc. And you know, I had this experience of working with different nationals, and um, I realized that you know, understanding each other. cultural psychologies is really important in expediting our work increasing our productivity and to make a harmonious relationship with the clients you know so um and it assisted me in several ways and i decided to write this book and i did a lot of research to background research uh, spent about a couple of years doing the research on the book and spent about a year writing the book this was the really thrilling part and um, when it came to publishing i deluded myself completely thinking that i could do it in probably 15 days or a month so um i just want to share the different challenges that i faced i went through this entire journey so this is about publishing a non fiction book because there is a big difference of course between publishing a fiction book and a non fiction book and we will, and i will explain you know what those what those things really are this is the book that i published which is called the indian mind at work Uh, we have the Kindle version, and then we have the paperback, and it's available available on Amazon. And so, what we're going to look at is number one, the publishing options. Number two, the challenges that we faced in each of these options. And number three, the pros and cons. Among the publishing options, at a high level, we have the conventional route, and then we have the self-publishing route. So, first, we are going to go and have a look at what are the options available in the conventional publishing route. So, the very first. one obviously is a publishing house you have to do as an author you have to do a certain extent of research as to what your subject is and uh, you know what are the publishing houses that are available now some of these publishing houses and nowadays i think quite a lot of them rather they do accept manuscripts and um, they either ask you to upload the manuscript or they ask you to send it to them some of them do not ask for manuscripts they ask for only extracts you say so it it really depends it, there is nothing there's no consistency in this exercise at all what are the challenges that we face so when you do these submissions um, you might you might submit your manuscript or you might in a pdf format or you might upload uh, they might ask for just the first two or three chapters or something like that so you might have huge wait times over here depending upon the publishing house because you see a lot of people are doing it a lot of people are uploading uh, their manuscripts and stuff like that and obviously these companies have limited resources you might end up waiting for months together before you get even an email response yeah and i don't think any publisher nowadays has got that kind of patience the second issue that we have is particularly when when you are on a technical subject and for me it was even more difficult because you know intercultural psychology is not something that is easily understood or easily available you see many of these publishing houses you know did not really have the kind of expertise to judge content they probably didn't understand what was going on so this was one of the challenges that i faced which kind of started moving my head in the other direction now the pros of course is that you will get a good superior published book and then these companies obviously you know they have got a good reach because they have they have been around for a long time you see they're established companies and you know they could you know get get your book out there really they would have this very wide reach the cons when it comes to publishing houses is that the royalties could be pretty low so they will they will in all probability end up taking the lion's share of the profit so you got to like consider and you know um, um look at all these things and there's one more thing that i would like to mention is that there are also certain publishing houses that offer you you know they they might approach you and say that hey you know um we we're going to do this publishing for you etc but then they can make you pay through your nose so do not fall into that trap um when you are the author of the book you really shouldn't have to spend money in you know once again publishing it defeats the entire purpose so that's the first thing when it comes to publishing houses the second conventional option is to approach an agent now agents are really like the intermediaries between the publishing houses and you one of the challenges that we have in facing the agents is obviously the expertise to judge the content particularly when you are writing something technical the second is the availability of the agents themselves because many of the good agents you see the good agents can be really busy and they might take a long time to respond to you and the third legal matter 
uh, so sorry, the third challenge that you have are uh, the legal matters that are involved because whenever you uh, go to a, a particular agent, now they are, what, what the agent will do is they will find a publisher for you and they will, you know, they might come out with a contract. Now I've talked to a lot of people. I've talked to some of my friends who did publishing, went through this process, etc. cetera. Um, and what, 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 one of the biggest challenges here is that you could get caught into a contract, which is, you know, it's, it's going to squeeze you. Like you may really not get compensated pretty well for your book, even if your book does very well or whatever it is. So you really have to be careful about the contracts and you will invariably have to hire a lawyer in order to vet the contract and to go through everything. So the pros in this process is that, of course, the agent handles everything. I mean, you really have to do, do nothing yeah, because the agent is working on a commission basis. So you're not going to pay any fee to him. So there's no real immediate expense uh, on your part. Other than, of course, the fact that you definitely have to hire a, a lawyer and, uh, you know, it, it is advisable rather, um, you know, if you want to escape getting into something that, you know, really squeezes you out. So these are the conventional routes that I have encountered. Now we will go into the next, um, um, that is the self-publishing route, which is the unconventional route. So here what happens is that we have, uh, the first thing is the assisted and what I mean by assisted is that there are lots of organizations nowadays, particularly if you go into Google, you will find hundreds and hundreds of websites. You know, they say, okay, we'll do it for you. You want to do the self-publishing? Now you've written the book, you've done the good part. Leave it with us. We will do the formatting. We will do the, you know, the, the book cover and we will do all these things, the good stuff. And we will put it on um, Amazon or Lulu or, you know, whatever platform that they offer. Uh, it could be Ingrams or, you know, there are lots of platforms. And they will say to you that, hey, you give us this fee and um, we will take care of everything for you. Now, this happened to me because I got tired of writing the, I mean, you know, once I, not off writing the book, after writing the book, you know, it was exhausting. So I spent about nearly a year doing that. And then I was like, okay, now I'm going to go and do this. So I thought, let me pay this company. And this company, by the way, appeared number one on the SEO engine. Okay. It had a beautiful website. Their chat was fantastic. Their, you know, everything. And they, they promised, they said, within 10 days, your book is going to be out. And then I paid them, you know, a good amount. It was around 700 pounds and then whew, gone. So um, nearly... It, it took me nearly two months to get my money back because these people did not even have the initial expertise or knowledge of formatting a Word document. They did not even know how to do that. In fact, I was the person who ended up trying to teach them and tell them what to do. So it was that bad. So eventually I complained about it and then there was an investigation, etc. So you have to be very careful about this. My suggestion would be do not do it. If you're going to do self-publishing, my suggestion would be do it yourself. It's going to be difficult. It's not going to be an easy thing. And we'll have a look at that. So please bear in mind that when you come to assisted publishing, you're going to have, you might, encounter, I'm not saying that all of them are like that, obviously, because I have not, you know, encountered all of them. But it is definitely a question of once bitten, twice shy. And I have gone and looked at a lot of forums and I've gone and looked at a lot of reviews. And I have seen that a lot of people are facing these challenges, uh, this kind of challenge with uh, the assisted publishing. So then uh, we look at the self-publishing part, um, you know, the other part is obviously it's going to be on Amazon uh, doing it yourself and then um, let me talk about Amazon so I decided to go on and just do it only on Amazon I said okay I don't want any more complications I, I think I've had enough of all you know uh, all these challenges um, and I decided to do it on Amazon so now when it comes to Amazon um, you have a different completely different set of challenges so now if you are going to write a novel something like a book which has nothing but text simple chapters like your table of contents is chapter one chapter two chapter three chapter four that's it it's going to be a cakewalk it's going to be really easy i mean you're not going to have any challenges if you are going to write a book which is going to have number one a nested table of contents yeah that is you know under chapter one, you have something or you have book one and then chapter one to the book two. My, my book is like that. It's divided into three parts. And under each of the parts, you know, there are chapters and under each of the chapters, there are sections. So it's a very nested kind of table of contents. So if you have that and then if you have a lot of images, my book has 85 images, including charts, drawings and things like that. So if you have that, you know, then Amazon is going to create help. They have a tool which is called Kindle Create. Here, there's another challenge. Like if you're using Windows, Kindle Create works. If you're using a Mac uh, or an Apple system, Kindle Create just doesn't work. It keeps crashing. 
So that's one challenge that you have. So in Kindle, um, when you're trying to publish the ebook, you have this huge challenge about, as I said, about the nested content. Kindle Create will not accept it. It will not. So, but you guys are techies. I think, you know, most of the, most most of you would be techies. So you you should be able to find out, you know, how to convert it into a, a EPUB and uh, use some HTML programming and stuff. And then, you know, manage to create a table of content. One of my friends did it for me, actually. He's a system designer. And he, he, he created that particular EPUB for me, which I was able to upload into, into Amazon. But until he did it, I could not get this nested content in. And it was a bit of an initial challenge for him also until he worked it out. So you got to bear that in mind. Uh, the second is when it comes to the paperback um, in Kindle, the, the biggest challenge that you will face is that there is no YC Vic. That is, you know, uh, what you see is what you get. So what you will do is you will you will follow the specifications perfectly down to the millimeter. Yeah, because I've used uh, uh, Photoshop and everything and, you know, I have made sure that all the dimensions are right. So the margin, the gutter and all those things, you know, the good structure of the book and everything, you're going to fix it. Amazon has got very good information. Trust me. I mean, they do have good information. And... Um, the, the, their videos and you know everything assists you tremendously but the challenge is that once you have done everything and you start and you look at your book okay it's perfect according to their uh, specifications but once you go into their preview mode it's all over the place so the number of lines that should be appearing on one particular page in with their specifications of the margins and gutter and everything like that in their preview page it gets it just gets knocked off so now what you have to do is you have to eyeball it you have to keep on making the adjustments and then unfortunately until you have actually republished the book for the preview you will not be able to see what the effects are you see so then what you have now done is you have a perfect format according to their system you have put it in and then when the preview comes out it's not right so now you have to go back to your word document you have to start making changes there again put it back again publish it again look at the preview and every time you do this publishing sometimes it can take hours for me the first time to get it a bit right i had to do it around 17 times so and in all to get my book right i i have uploaded it probably around uh, 70 to 80 times that's a challenge obviously you know because my book has a lot of images and stuff like that the, the challenge was compounded but i'm just sharing this with you so these are uh, we have some of the challenges that we have the pros in amazon of course you know you can get up to 70 percent of royalties yeah provided you follow certain rules of this um if you are exclusive to amazon and then you price your book between a certain range, you can claim up to 70% of royalties. Otherwise, it's around 35%. And then you can also run sales campaigns. Okay, you can run a lot of sales campaigns and um, you can reduce your price, you can change those things, etc. You know, there are lots of options to do that. So one of the cons with this thing is it is, you know, if you're going to run the sales campaigns and 70%, it's going to be restricted to Amazon, you cannot sell it elsewhere. If you want to sell it elsewhere, then your royalties is going to go down by 30 to 35%. So I think uh, we are probably at the end of my time. Um, and finally, the last one um, of the cons is that there is no paperback print facility in India with Amazon. So if you're going to do the ebook, it's fine. The problem with the paperback print facility in Amazon with respect to India is they do the pricing for it and they can do the pricing according to America. So your book, which might normally should be selling probably in India for about 300 rupees or 400 rupees, might end up being priced by Amazon at 1500 rupees and nobody's going to buy it. So that's another challenge that you have in Amazon. So I think I'm at the end now. I would like to open um, this out for any questions. Some folks are asking how to create more engagement while publishing. So I guess marketing uh, the book while you are in the process of publishing. Uh, you mean to say engagement with the with, with your potential audience? Yes, yes. Well, I think the first thing that you need to do is make sure that your book is fine. You you can try some engagement um, saying, you know, that you are, you are in the process of writing a book, etc and make people aware of, you know, certain of some of the good things that are coming out of it on platforms like LinkedIn and Facebook or whatever that you use. Um, that's one thing that you can do. Once you have written your book, then, you know, uh, make sure that you get it reviewed properly by some peers and some good people because you're, you know, we, we all think sometimes that, you know, we, we have written the best thing that could possibly be. But I got some tremendous feedback from my friends, which caused, which made me go back to my book and make, you know, some uh, changes. So do those things in the meantime you can take that approach of you know very gradually and consistently reminding people that hey my book is going to come out and once the book comes out of course you go with a bang 
you just launch it and then you um, throw it out at everybody and say this is what it is this is the good stuff but um, a lot of people will look at it and um, you know people might not buy it immediately <laughs> of course so what you have to have a consistent approach beyond that where you pick up things from your book important things maybe there are certain things in your book which do not which buck the trend really and are like baits and a lure for people to to get interested in buying your book so what i do is i publish articles and i publish you know little videos and things like that which kind of highlight um you know what this book is about and that has really assisted in the sales how to connect the dots i mean i know the topic but cannot connect the dots i mean i i think this is regarding the entire process of you know starting writing a book and then finally getting done with the publishing so how can we connect the dots well you know i don't think this it's a process of dots at all really i think it's an organic process at least it was for me so i had this uh, um, you know seed of an idea that you know hey i'm going to write a book some day about this and when the time came i just you know I, i had a lot of material which i had researched and you know i had been creating a brain dump really it was a huge brain dump and um, so i began to extract from that and then started just formulating what's going to be the structure of my book what's going to be the what are going to be the ideas that are going to, that i'm going to communicate how am i going to make my book different from whatever exists in the market how do my concepts and the concepts that i am expressing in this book stack up against what is existing currently in the market and how do i present it in a better manner so it's you think about the content you think think about the presentation and then um, you know the the layout and the look and feel part you come to when you come to publishing so once you have you know organically when once as i said in my earlier um, you know answer also once you have completed writing we definitely need to get this review you know peer reviews and things like that are really important so you get the feedback go back do the revisions do all these things and then make sure that you know your content is um, um is is right um you you definitely have to make sure that there are no spelling mistakes so proofreading is a must yeah you must do all those things then you come into the automatically once you have done this you're going to say how am i going to publish now and this is what happened with me and that's why i went through this journey where i started exploring the different avenues of publishing and talking to different people and then eventually you know you reach the path that you are intended to find or you know which you intend to find so so that's how it goes really so why in the solo option so i found that there are some other places where you can also go for uh, other than amazon so yep. but you mentioned the exclusive uh, thing related to amazon so yep. uh, would you consider that as a good option to like keep your book on other sites as well maybe not maybe not open the option for buying there but uh, at least it will allow for users or readers who frequently look for new books to at least see that okay there's a book like this and uh, then they can uh, move to amazon and purchase it what would you say no i don't think you will have a buying um, a non buying um, option kind of thing so amazon i think is pretty clear that if you are going for the 70% royalty option you cannot have it anywhere else in any format but if you are having the 35% option then you can publish it wherever you like anywhere so it's really your choice and it's it's a trade off it's like um, if you look at it one way you know amazon is probably the biggest book place market in the world and um, so do you want to go along with that and a 70% royalty or do you want to take 35% from amazon and spread it across uh the other platforms it's really your call it's your choice whatever you feel and what your instinct tells you so that there is no hard and fast algorithm or um, statistical uh, you know empirical stuff available which will tell you that this is the right thing or this is the wrong so whatever works works you know it's like that bye bye all right bye